Hi there guys. I just want to come to you with a little quick video. I did not do an in-depth video about the flexi hand. And I do want to do a video about the flexi hand. And I do want to talk about the flexi hand a little bit. Because I am truly enjoying my flexi hand. I really am. I'm having a wonderful time with it. And I just want to say if there's anyone that's still out there that's considering a silicone hand and the ones that are out there are maybe a little bit too pricey for you, then I would consider the flexi hand. And one thing I want to talk about with the flexi hand is the price. And I want to say this. Now, this is for people who use PayPal. And I will put the link for the um, flexi hand website um, in the description but when you go on the flexi hand website what you will see is when you um, decide what you want to order let's say for instance you order this this is the the long and the short one are the same price they're $89 on their website so you put this in your cart then you get ready to go to checkout and then it'll show all your address information. You put all your address information in there. And if you have um, a code, you can put that in. And so then what it'll show you is after you click on that, it'll show you the price that you're paying from the Australian website. But what you have to understand right after you do that, you go to it'll lead you to um, click on PayPal. Then you go to PayPal if you're going to pay through PayPal. Now, if you're not paying through PayPal, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know because I always deal with PayPal pretty much. But it'll, it'll direct you to PayPal. Then when you click on your payment method, click on that one time. Don't buy it. Just click on it one time to show that's going to be your payment method. And it will show you the American price in dollars that you're going to be paying for this product. And if you'll notice through PayPal that the American dollar amount is anywhere from $15 to $20 cheaper than the price that it says on her website. So what, what you see on her website is not the price that you're going to pay. Now PayPal will show you what you will pay in American dollars. What's on her website is in Australia, in, that, in their money. And it's higher than the American dollars. So I did want to say that much to you. So that, you know, just in case you might think that that's a little bit pricey. You're, it's going to be anywhere from $15 to $20 cheaper than what you see on her website. And it's going to be cheaper than that if you have a coupon code. But that is one of the good things about ordering from the Flexi Finger Company itself. There, there is an American company that sells the flexi hand. It's not the long one like this one. It's the shorter one. And, um, yeah, I'll talk about my nails in a minute. I did redo them. And um, it's the shorter one. But that company, their base price for that is $115. Then I don't know if there's a shipping charge that goes along with that. I'm not sure. I know I order directly from the Flexi Finger Company in Australia. I order directly from Sharon. But I wanted to say that um, I really am enjoying this hand because of the simple fact that um, it does have the canal where you can slide the tips in through. Um, and I do want to show you that. I know I say um a lot. You have to excuse me. I have these nail tips that I ordered from Wish. And these are, I've got one out here, right here. And I think this is a size 8. And this is what this is right here in my hand. This is a coffin, full well coffin tip. And I wanted to show you this. I don't want to get out of frame. I wanted to show you this. Um, I did it in my last video, but I'm going to show you right here. If you'll take this tip, and I'm going to lay it in my hand, this is the bottom and this is the top of it, I guess. That's why I look at it. And so what you do is you put it in backwards. You put it in the tip in here, 
backwards like that. And when you do that, it's like a real nail. And you can use forms to sculpt nails from that, or you can apply a tip to it. I don't have a tip available right now. I do have some coming. Some will be here tomorrow, and some will be here Sunday. Cut anything. Now, if you use this tip by itself, if you slide it in there the way it is, you'll have to cut the tip off. You'll have to, I'm sorry, you'll have to cut the tip off in order to it. use it. So that is different plastic bag here. These are all the tips that came with the hand. I don't really use those. I don't use those at all. And I have ordered a lot, a lot, a lot of tips. And these are some that, now I had some already and I had all of them in a, all sizes mixed up in a bag together. But I just received about a hundred more in. So what I did yesterday is I took each one out and I put it in a bag separately, each number. You know, here's number three, four. Here's two, one, and zero. And I have about, I think I have about six more packs of these coming in. You're going to damage it. What I do when I do nails, I, after I form the nail or whatever I do, I remove the nail from the hand and I file it. I do not file the nail on the hand. Now on this finger right here, I have a little split right there, but that doesn't bother me. But what I have done is I have ordered the five fingers. I have ordered five extra fingers to go with this hand, so I'll have extras. I'm just that kind of person. I like to have more than enough of something or more than one of something. But I have, I have plenty of um, LED UV lamps. I have plenty of nail tips. I have plenty of acrylic brushes. As you know, you've seen my videos. I, I have those. a lot of tips. But I always have more than enough of what I need. So I've ordered five more fingers just in case anything happens. And they're very nice. But see, the advantage that you have with the flexi hand is if any one of these fingers get damaged, you can replace it. With that silicone hand, if a finger gets damaged, you got to replace the whole hand. You know that I appreciate. I really love this working with this hand. And uh, I need to say this. I'm not getting paid for anything. Everything that you see me show in my videos, you know, you're paying a lot of money for these things. I mean, even though this was a lot cheaper than the whole, those silicone hands, I still paid money for it. And I want to get the best use and the most use out of it that I can. I don't want to have to keep replacing fingers on this hand because you know, that can get, if right. every time I file and I start damaging a nail, I have to replace a finger. So I'm not going to do that. So I take my nails out and file them. And then I and um, right now I've got it sitting on this little thing that I got from um, AliExpress. It just came in today. And I just sat it on here. I'm not going to keep it on here. I'm just going to keep it. I'm going to reattach it back to the um, piece of um, marble slab that I have. Right now. But it works very well um you've got these this is the knob that you turn and that helps you lift it up and down up and down and a lot of times even if you so, don't turn it, it it still will go up and down but it's more controlled and this right here you turn this and then you can turn it sideways you know, you can do it like a real hand when you're doing nails or something like that. And I keep that at a, you know, where I can maneuver it. I, you know, just it. keep it. And this is, let me lift it up. I'm turning this out wrong. If you lift it up, you got this press button. When you get ready to unattach it from whatever the, um, what form is attached to you press down and lift it up and it comes right off and you also have this little piece back here right here 
that you use and you can ooh, unattach it from that there it goes and it's unattached and there is your flexi hand hmm, okay it's back attached again for people if but you I know don't... if you're looking for an alternative to paying 200 and more for a hand this is a nice um this is a nice choice i am very I am satisfied with this now i'm going to move the flexi and these are my nails i want to say that these nails are the press on nails that i decided to just glue them on this time because i wanted something quick and short so that i could do my designs easier i've had my long duck nails and i got tired of those so i'm gonna do these for a while now this thumbnail this as you notice is a little bit different i have to sculpt this nail i have to use forms to make this nail because i don't care how i do a tip on this nail how thick i make it it still breaks but when i sculpt it it does not break this is very solid so this is the one nail that i have to sculpt and so I don't nails care about the shape of it. And these are the nails. These are the tips that I have on right now. These. And I ordered these from Wish. Those are the ones that I'm wearing. This is so cute. This is an ink pen. And I like it. I got this pen from, look at this. I got this pen from Dollar Tree. <laughs> and I think it's different. You know, I'm all about different. And it does that. I don't know what that is, but I don't care. But it, and they had them in this color, this teal color. They had them in pink and purple. I just like teal. this video. And I hope I've been, you know, giving you some information. If there's anything else you need to know or want to know, just leave me a comment and you know I'll get back to you. And so... If you do get a flexi hand, I hope you enjoy yours as much as I'm enjoying mine. And I'm just loving it. And I do have some more designs coming. I'll have you another I'm video. All right, guys. Love you all. And don't forget, if you're not already, subscribe. And if you want to know every time I upload a video, click on that notification bell. And tell somebody else about my channel. All right. I love you all. Bye-bye.